This is part two of the Whipple procedure pancreatic anast anastomotic uh, techniques. In part one, uh, we reviewed the duct to mucosa uh, technique, the two layer pancreatic jejunostomy technique, as well as the invagination technique. Uh, I mentioned the uh, more unusual technique of suturing the pancreas uh, in a one or two layer fashion to the posterior wall of the uh, stomach. Well, what level one evidence exists as to uh, which is the preferred uh, method? There, whenever there are clearly, whenever there is more than one way of doing something, there is there is no clear consensus on what on what the best method is. Um, there is there are recent level one evidence uh, which did compare the pancreatic jejunostomy in a uh, the duct to mucosa versus um, you know two layer pancreatic J. Uh, this was a uh, multi-institutional uh, trial, um, and surprisingly, uh, the two-layer anastomosis yielded lower pancreatic fistula rates than the duct to mucosa, but um, by a small amount. Um, the way I look at this um, this problem, however, is that it is not uh, um, really related necessarily to the technique that's used or the technique that a surgeon prefers, but more on the judgment of the surgeon as to which technique may be better suited uh, for a particular uh, patient. Um, as I mentioned in the first video, patients who have ducts that are greater than three millimeters with firm uh, glands, uh, my technique is to do duct to mucosa uh, in that subs subset of patients. Patients who have soft glands or glands that are with pancreatic ducts less than three millimeters, um, I c tend to do a two-layer pancreatic jejunostomy or um, a true dunking or invagination technique, as as mentioned in the uh, first video. Uh, so, in summary, I think that uh, high-volume surgeons who get who become uh, familiar with all the techniques available to them. And their judgment in choosing the proper technique based on the anatomy and the firmness of the gland, uh, so forth, is what is most important um, in keeping the pancreatic fistula rate low. Most of these um, trials and most of the data show pancreatic fistula rates in the 10 to 12% uh, um, range. Uh, soft glands with small ducts can even have uh, pancreatic fistula rates in the 25 to 30 percent range if categorized. Uh, for all comers at St. Joseph Medical Center, which is a high volume center for pancreatic surgery and Whipple surgery, uh, our rate uh, has consistently uh, been over the years less than uh, 5 percent. Um, for that reason, uh, we continue to encourage uh, patients uh, seeking surgeons for Whipple surgery to uh, be careful um, and choose high-volume uh, surgeons with good results. I thank you for listening.